Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Attitude. Yes, it is my birthday. You know, I, I was looking forward to this like for like a week now. I was like, oh cool. The Long Legs website, The Birthday Murders update comes out on my birthday. Am I next? So as far as a recap, uh, the last thing we got was that uh, we, we got some more murders in the second update. But then, uh, it left us with a bit of a cliffhanger, saying the case went cold, like, the murders went silent, D uh, Longlegs has disappeared for, I think, like, ten years now, uh, but then it, it goes on to say, will he continue to kill again? So, I'm not going to do what I have been doing, where I look at what we're about to get and I go, okay, well, so let, let, let's, let's get into all this. With the cliffhanger like that in the movie like now coming out officially this month because it is july uh we're just gonna go down and you know we're, we're not gonna see how deep this gets but before i get into that um i am just gonna say you guys are so fucking wholesome i love this community so much i've just been getting flooded with comments uh over over the night because from people that did see my video i hope you guys can hear me there's like planes going off. Someone was commenting saying that that second file I was trying to get into where I was like, Planet Queen, it's totally Planet Queen. Uh, apparently s people have gotten into that and uh, I was reading one of the comments specifically and you know, I was like, how do you, how did you do it? So apparently he, he looked up Planet Queen. It gave him results for lyrics to a song from a band called T-Rex uh, which was referenced in the first website update. Uh, episode that I did. Now I'm gonna look up look this up and see if it relates to a biblical reference. All right, let's see what we got No, I don't think this is a relation to T-Rex from the movie Billy Elliot and apparently in all of the lyrics He just typed in a bunch of different parts of the lyrics and he eventually cracked the code which I believe he said it was uh, a couple people were telling me she used my head as a revolver. So, I was thinking, we're actually gonna look into that code before we get into the update. So, let's see. The birthday murders. I wonder if I'll ever type this right. Um, there it is. Oh yeah, also, it's like 10.52, but about an hour ago I started getting the update, so... If there is another, oh, there is another update to back July 8th. So, I'm gonna have to remember that it's around this time. So let's see, uh, how did I, how do I, oh no, I am gonna have to go down because I have to get to the file. Darn it, well let's just, let's just go fast. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! All right, so this, this is the one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this bad boy. All right, so this was, uh, what was this one? Friend of a friend, I think. R-I-E-N-D of a F-R-I-E-N-D. There we go. All right, was it this one? Yeah, it was. Okay, it was this one. She used my head as a revolver. Did I type it right? Damn it, why can't I see? She used my head as a a revolver. Fuck, what was it? Planet Queen lyrics. Where was it? She used my head like a revolver. The fuck? Why won't you work? Let's see. Let's try it again. She used my head like a revolver. There we go. I was typing it in wrong. Oh, PQ. Okay, this is different than what these look like. <sighs> oh my god. Whoa. Oh shit. There's so much. Get hence from before him. Get hence from behind him. Prayer against the evil spirits. Well, I know the big part of the marketing is have you said, have you said your prayers? Or do you still say your prayers? Incantation, seven are they, seven are they. In the ocean deep, seven are they. Battening in heaven, seven are they. In the ocean deep as their home they were reared. Nor male or female are they. They are as roaming wind blast. No wife have they, no son do they beget. Knowing neither mercy nor pity. 
they hearken not unto prayer or supplication. They are horses they are as horses reared among the hills, the evils one of Ea, throne bearers to the god are they. Hebrew. Prayer against the evil spirits. Okay. So that's a prayer. What's this one? You're not Sydney Sweeney. I wonder if that's the uh, person that we've been seeing in like the creepy red eyes and the marketing. Uh, let's go to the next one. Jeez, there's a lot. Looks like a demon guy. What's the, what's the demon? Uh, Han Hanby? That's like a big demon in this movie. Hanby. No, not Habby. Hanby. Are there images of him? Does it look like that? Ah, you're happy! This is the demon. Um, uh, yeah, kind of. The horns going, woo, little swoopy. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else we got. Okay, so that's m more of the picture that we got in the last one. On um, the last episode I did. Another file. Okay. Are oh, there duplicates of that? Ethiopic magical prayer written for Ahita Mikhail. The same belief appears for it prescribed per, ah, prescribes my elbow. Prescribes certain glorious names, probably to be recited at the front and at the doors. Wait, at the front and at the doors. Why is it like that? At the front and at the weird doors if thou wilt uh, enter into a house which is old or in ruins or unclean in the new testament the savior goes into the wilderness and there meets the devil the seven evil spirits there are certain spirits described as the seven around whom a great many around whom a great many poems were composed and welded into the incantations and spells the best known is the invocation against the seven Seven are they, seven are they... Okay, we we read all this. Of the seven, the first is the south wind. The seven, it, it, the second is a dragon with mouth agape, agape, that none can withstand. I wonder how deep this movie's gonna go into this shit. Jeez. I really want to see, like, as much as I want to see Nick Cage... As much as I want to see, like, the horror in the movie and, like, you know, the movie as, like, a serial killer film, as a crime film, I also want to see the lore of the Satanism. Uh... Can we... Can we look at this? Go away, Hamby. You aren't gonna curse my computer. Uh, can we look at that? Let's see, long legs, coded, alphabet. Uh-huh. Okay, so... I've done a lot of writing. Okay. Ah! So, CV dot. The dot's an A. C... V, so C is before the A, and then D. All right, so it looks like that right there, the CV dot going up is DCA. And then this thing that looks like a fucking UFO thing, uh, that was not you, close. Uh, wait, is it? Is it you? Might be you. Was that a U? Oh, yeah, I guess that's a U. Hmm. Alright, so U and then the three slashes uh, going to the right. That's a Q. <laughs> so I can't remember, but I think someone in the comments might have said that these things, like uh, the things that I couldn't crack in the other episode that looked like just fucking gibberish, he said that there was a way of cracking them, uh, if I remember. I can't remember where, where the comment was, though. Uh, let's see. Let me, let me see if I can find pull up that comment. Pragmatic loser. Uh, was it this one? It might have been this one. 
Um, where is it? I remember him saying someone saying something about it. About the, yeah, this is the one about the uh, the lyrics. Uh, was it in my other long legs one? Uh, where's something about the gibberish? So that's, yeah, she used my head like a revolver. Wait, the numbers on the files is also, oh yeah, that's right. That reminds me. Yeah, so like on the files, how it has all these numbers, they actually like correspond to, uh, to, um, the alphabet. So yeah, A is one, B is two, which would mean that C is three. So this is A, 14. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. So, A, N. So, and. Oh my god, does this make a fucking message? Oz Perkins, chill. Now I'm gonna do this, because that's... I got distracted. So, yeah, and. Uh, we haven't even gotten into the fucking update yet. Uh, and, A, A, N. So, and, N. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, so A, N, G, A, B, C, D, E, is this angel, it's 12 and an L, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, this must be S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, yeah, so angels, and and angels D E C is this deceived? No. Deceives. I'm gonna get back to you on this, because this is gonna take a while, guys. It's taken me minutes just to do like the first two. Uh I'll have to look this up another time. Or, or I'll come back to it at the end of the video. We'll, we'll figure something out. But um I for, I forget what where we were at. Oh my God! Why did why did why did I distract myself? These are new. Okay, so we're still on the file. That's right. We were trying to crack this one. So yeah, um, there was a comment that said, uh, you can crack the gibberish looking shit. Was it this one? I can't remember which fucking video it was. Uh. Ha ha ha. Um, might have been in one of my posts. Uh, uh, community. No comments on that one. No comments on this one. Is it this one? If you need help, we've got a whole Reddit thread on it. Passcodes, deciphered letters. Where is the gibberish one? Where is the one that you said about the gibberish? I remember it. I don't remember how you said to figure it out though. Uh, maybe this one. This will be my last attempt. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Damn. I can't remember where, where the comment went. But um, yeah, apparently you can crack the gibberish. So uh, whoever wrote that comment, if you'll comment again and let me know how I will come back to this and crack it. So yeah, we're gonna continue with this one though, because I do want to see the photos. Okay, that was the the beast. Okay, we already saw that one. This one's a duplicate. Did we see this one? Yeah, we saw that one. That's the code. Or a prayer, I mean, or whatever. Okay, that's that one. What is that? Um, can I move it? How do I move it? I thought I could move this somehow. I guess I can't. How do I move it? I thought I could move it. Um, I don't know what that is. Oh wait, those are legs. So that's a socket, so this must be the floor and someone's laying 
Well, we can't see past that. 8, 9, 19. Okay, this isn't a duplicate. That one looks familiar. I feel like we saw this photo before. Something about the purple sleeve and the pineapple that I remember. That's definitely biblical. Something about it just looks biblical. The, the art design. Uh, is that the same... Is that more of the photo that we saw in the past one where I was like, oh, that's the mother in the bathtub? Whoa, this is a really detailed one. Looks like someone broke in here, maybe killed the guy here. I don't know what all this is. Maybe he used this to break the window. Okay, these are all duplicates too, but look, the spaces are different. Isn't that weird? <clears throat> I wonder if they're slightly different. No, they look pretty similar. Huh, weird. Okay. 28, 523. Oh, there's a long one. What the fuck? Is that a, that's an arm, that's feet. What's up with his body or is that multiple bodies? Those are small tootsies, those look like kids. <clears throat> there's, there is a wave that I like. Yeah, there we go, there's the movie thing. Okay, so that, that's someone on the floor. Okay, what's this one? Okay, that's the same one. Relations with humans, with human beings are much closer and she thus takes over the functions of the Hebrew Lilith. The word Ardatu, as has been explained above, always implies a marriageable woman and this uses this use bears further testimony to this. In one of the magical texts, the sick man is described as one whom the Ardat Lily has wedded. In the explanation, in the explanatory explanatory text K156, mention is made of the Ardat Lily that has no husband or restless ghost that wanders up and down, forced by her desire to roam abroad, or abroad. Unable to rest quietly until she is satisfied. <clears throat> she therefore appears to have been the spirit of a woman, such as that which came to tempt Saint Antony. It's like the witch in The Witch, that one movie where the girl makes out with the kid. Uh, and it is probably <laughs> she, she w who gives birth to the Alu or devil, half human, half specter, while the Lilitu, although the female counterpart of the Lilu, was less human in the characteristics. These were the principal spirits, but they formed only a single class of the powers of evil which might attack man. Witchcraft, sorcery, the evil eye which cast a baneful glance, the evil tongue which let fall in... What the fuck does this have to do with the movie? I wonder if, like, the other ones, these, where were the other pages? Like, if they all connect. Like, if it, like, like this. Like is that no? I was gonna say maybe the pages like follow each other. Uh, where were we? We were were we at this one? No, we were after that. This one. Yeah, that's the one we were at. Okay, so let's see. We got a few more. Yeah, yeah, with these, I'm not gonna bother checking them because I don't know how to crack them, and usually these are just gibberish. But again, once I get that comment, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back probably in the update video and, and look at those. Okay, number 38. I'm seeing that number a lot. Are these the same crime photo? The same crime scene? Matabella Islands, the placenta. This is contagious magic. Is buried under a coconut. Manja, or a great fig tree, along with the shell of the coconut, 
of which the pulp had been used to smear the newborn child. In many of the islands b between New Guinea and Celebes, the placenta is put in the branches of a tree, often in the top of one of the highest trees in the neighborhood. Something the navel string is deposited along with the placenta tree, but often it is kept to be used as med medicine or an amulet by the child. Yeah, this is just stuff I am not going to follow. This is... This is deep into the lore. Like, this is deep into that biblical background. Okay. What are these photos of? Like, are these characters in the movie? Is this footage of something that is going to be in the movie in a background or something... I don't, I don't know. Like the whole graininess, it looks like something from like, like a still from an old film. I wonder what is up with those. All right, so that is, <clears throat> that is that file. I, I will come back with the deciphered message of what those all say, but then there's the other one, the other file that I, I would have to do too. So I will come back with those. All right, let's finally see the update. Birthday murders net. No, you're not, you're not the one. Damn it, I actually typed it right, too. Mm -hmm. There we go. All right, let's get back into it, because as a cliffhanger, I really want to know this. I was even saying it in the comments of replying to people, like, I got it, I got to see more of this. So I'm, I'm really excited to just get back into this. At this point, the trail turns cold, as Long Legs appears to have vanished for more than a decade. No more murders, no more letters, no more seemingly demented familicides over 10 long years. What started out as a series of unrelated murder-suicides is now looking increasingly like the work of, an, of a mysterious and unhinged serial killer. In the next entry of this weblog, we'll learn whether or not Longlegs continues to kill. A break in the case. Let's get into this. Personnel at the Federal B Bureau of Investigation had... Had never seen anything like it. Eight murder suicides connected by coded letters left by someone calling himself Long Legs. Special agent in charge of the Salem Criminal Investigative uh, Division, Se Chester Chet, or Division, Chester Chet Van Adler stated, "We had to go back and look at all the old cases." Van Adler stated that the undertaking was particularly arduous, as some of the law enforcement officers involved had retired. Some are no longer with us. Oh, so they had to reopen the case. That's rough. That would be exhausting, especially for this. The modus operandi of the 1966 to 1975 killings was substantially similar to that of the new killing. Wait, of the new killing? It was an enigma. Van Adler recalled, we were all puzzled as to how someone could have pulled it off. Still, we had those letters, Van Adler said, or Van Adler said, uh, which clearly pointed to the involvement of an outside assailant. The satanic aspect, well, that just made the whole thing even more sinister. Okay, but what had, wait, what's the break in the case? i would never seen eight murder suicides connected by coded letters. So is this after the 10 long years? I don't know. In 1986, oh, we're getting to the 90s like I was predicting. Ooh, FBI forensic ana analysis confirmed that there were no fingerprints at the crime scenes for anyone outside of the families. Next, handwriting experts determined that all of the letters were written by the same hand. They were also able to confirm that none of the letters were written by the fathers or anyone else related to the families. Okay, so now they're realizing, okay, so the parent or the fathers didn't do all the murders. The agency soon established there were no links between any of the families involved. They exhausted every possible connection before determining none of the families were in any way related. The Bannister family, I wonder if... Imagine if we go down, we see the Harker family. Ooh, that would be a cool reveal. We knew we were dealing with someone calling himself Longlegs, Van Adder noted, but we didn't know a whole lot other than that. There were no physical evidence linking Longlegs to the, to the crimes. Van Adder expressed frustration with the case and its lack of credible leads. If not for the letters he left behind, it's almost like he was never there at all. The FBI agents were stumped. They knew they had nothing to go on. At this point, it was only a matter of time before Longlegs started killing again. But how did he make the people kill? How did he kill everyone? 
And how did he make it look like it was the the dads of the family? And how did he get away with with like no trace of DNA or evidence or anything? The Bannister family. In the early morning hours of October 17th, 1987, the Malheur, the Malheur uh, County Sheriff's Office responded to a call in the town of Crowley. There, they discovered the bodies of the Bannister family, victims of an apparent homicide-suicide. The body of Mother Frances was found bludgeoned to death with a, with a ball peen. Ball peen? Huh. I know ball pen. Ball peen hammer in the family's kitchen. His, her daughter, Veronica, another daughter, uh, in her bedroom, also the victim of a hammer attack. The family father, Reginald, was found in the garage, the victim of a self-inflicted gunshot wound with a Mossberg 12-gauge shotgun by his side. Oh, man. Getting back into it. The deceased were remembered as an all-American family. Reginald, a, ro a roadway standards engineer for the city of Crowley, was also a decorated U.S. Marine. Neighbor Arnold Grout described him as a pretty likable guy. Francis, a food services, services specialist at Pecula International Hospitality, was a native of Bend, Oregon. 11-year-old <laughs> Veronica was a popular 6th grader at False, false a day. Damn, that's a word. False a day elementary, an avid scholar and burgeoning piano prodigy. The descendants were laid to rest on, on Sunday, October 25th in the Visitation Catholic Church. At the Visitation Catholic Church, where Father Gregory Dunn delivered the, eul the eulogy. Scores of mourners attended the funeral. Services director Martin Heap of Bolin and Reed Funeral Home called the ceremony the most touching he had ever seen. The house of Dashwood, the house on Dashwood Lane remained cordoned off with yellow crime tape for several days. Members of Meller uh, County Sheriff's Office joined a task force being led by the Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI agents are, are said to have found a letter in a pink envelope at the crime scene. The letter written in the COVID alf coded alphabet was signed in ink. Long legs. Okay, this one, I'm going to I'm gonna give this one a shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look up, like, the first three letters and see if they, they make sense. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> uh, looks like an N, a V, and that thing. N, V. So it would be... Is that J? No, it's H. So H, C. Yeah, it doesn't make sense already. And then... This thing, so H C R. Another thing is like I'm wondering if you can like fill in blanks. Like if word words don't make sense, like H C R obviously doesn't make sense. I wonder if you can fill in stuff with like between the H and the C to make you know the full letter. With with this type of marketing, I would not be surprised just because like the re the uh, recent realization of oh yeah by the way the numbers correlate to the alphabet. I'm like. How the fuck did you guys even figure that out? God damn. How did you expect anybody to figure that out to begin with? Just, if, if, if it requires the work, if it's batshit enough, Oz Perkins will fucking do it. This one was different because of the MO, said Chester Chet Van Eider. Wait, this one. Okay. The letter was different. Uh, SAC of the Salem Criminal Special Investigative Division. This one was the first case where the perp used a hammer. Oh yeah, that's right, there are always knives usually, huh? Law enforcement officers theorized Longlegs had grown bolder in his approach following the return to killing, enabling him to use a different type of weapon with the murders. But why did he stop killing for 10 years? Like, what happened in those 10 years? What did he do? The Gaddis family. Edgar Gaddis, a, compl a compliance officer for the... Who done it? <laughs> the Hutnut Company and his wife Ramona, a court stenographer, resided in the town of Cherry Heights, Oregon. The 13-year-old daughter, Valerie, another daughter, was a student at Henry Hagg Jr. Wait, yeah, Junior High School. <laughs> On the night of February 12, 1989, one more year and we're in the 90s, Edgar is said to have killed his family and then himself with a carving knife. Okay, we're back to the knives. Valerie Gaddis's head had been removed from her body. A pair of kitchen shears protruded from the stomach of her... Of her mother Ramona, it was pretty unsettling," said Van Adder. One of the worst crime scenes I've ever encountered. The Gaddis family was laid to rest the following Sunday at the Church of Saint Adalbert, Bishop and Martyr. The service was officiated by Bishop Errol Garver, and arranged by the Shondell family funeral home. 
Garber called the killings a great tragedy and pronounced them a terrible loss for the community. The bodies were found then were found when neighbor Lily Nidenfuhr came to the house of Chauncey on Chauncey Street to return a VHS video cassette she had borrowed. What movie? I collect video videos. I knocked on the door and she did and didn't hear an answer, said Night in Fear. When I saw the door was unlocked, I pushed it open and went inside. What she ha happened upon was disturbing to say the least. I haven't slept since, said Night in Fear. She immediately called the Wasco County Sheriff's Department. Deputies found a letter on the refrigerator according to Deputy Rebecca Says. I knew what it was as soon as I spotted it. As Says suspected the letter contained a coded message signed long legs god i want to read these but i don't know how is that the guy in the trailers that we're seeing oh i wonder if we're gonna see lee harker at the bottom fbi forensic specialist dr carl M maya stated that there was no physical evidence on site to link the crime to anyone outside of the family with the amount of blood you would think that we'd find a shoe print at the very least but there was no dna evidence left behind and no fingerprints how? We knew Longlegs was, was meticulous, said Van Adder. He left no sign he had been in the house. The, the post-mortem examination yielded no additional clues. Van Adder retired shortly after the Gaddis murders, handing off the case to his successor spe special agent, William J. Carter. Okay, so this is William J. Carter. Where does Lee Harker come in? Why is she here? What significance does she have? Because it said she has like a personal like story to Longlegs. What is is that and how does she catch him or even meet him in that fucking interrogation room if i have one regret professionally van adder said it's not catching that son of a bitch long legs he's easily the sickest most vile killer i've ever come across what do you guys think his sentence would be if he were to ever get caught members of the abaddon hills neighborhood watch believed that they had a solid lead some neighbors recalled seeing a white station wagon with brown fox or, or brown faux wood paneling part across from the Gaddis house. It looked to me like a Chevy Caprice, said Len Matizek. Damn it, why does every every like sentence have something that's gibberish that I can't pronounce? Early 70s model, the FBI would not comment on the car. Did it have a license plate? The Horn family. Four members of a family were found dead on November 14th, 1992. In an apparent murder-suicide in Troutdale, according to Multnomah County Sheriff's Office, Curtis Horn, an instructor of creative writing at Bramford Community College, is said to have decapitated his wife Teresa and a phlebotomist and a phlebotomist and drowned their daughters Mary, 12, and Kathleen, 9, in the bathtub. He arranged their bodies in the boiler room into a strange formation before walking to the garage where he fatally shot himself in the head with a Smith and Wesson Model 686 revolver. That is one of the first photos we ever saw. So now we're getting to the, like, where the movie's coming into play. Why are the feet up here? Is it sick that I want to know what's behind this sheet? How it actually looks as far as the model? How he was, like, lining it up? An 8-inch chef's knife was found near Teresa's body. Dr. Grace Pittock, FBI clinical patholo pathologist said that the perpetrator used so much force the blade snapped off from the handle. An uncle told local 10 News reporter Ken that's what I'm talking about I'm not going to try and pronounce it that the family had been dead for four days before they were checked on. Damn. Partial, partially wrapped presents discovered on the dining room table suggested the Horns were preparing for Mary's birthday. The Horns had lived in the house on Holbrook drive for 12 years their neighbors described them in glowing glowing terms curtis coached t-ball Teresa ran the the bake sale at saint agatha's the two girls had been star students at telecom elementary they were model citizens just like all the rest of long legs victims so he's just killing off like the perfect like the ideal picture perfect families isn't he with daughters the horn family was laid to rest at saint agatha's Catholic Church in a ceremony officiated by Father Balthazar Torn, Thorn. The services were arranged by the Bureau Home of Green Gates and Young. As always, a pink-coated letter was found on the crime scene signed by Longlegs. Happy birthday. Wait, so we gave this one a birthday card, huh? That's fucked. Especially since he killed her on her birthday. You knew it was her birthday. And now, even as she would survive, 
You just would have never known what the fucking code said. Kind of a dick, long legs, to say the least. Uh, oh, and that's the thing that we saw in the first, the first episode of this? Fellow readers, what do you all make of this? You're really going to ask me that when you're giving me codes I can't decipher yet. What could have compelled Longwigs to come back after such a long hi hiatus? That's what I was asking. What was he also doing for those 10 years, like I said? And what is the relation to all... Well, I mean, obviously there's no relation to the like families, but why? why is he traveling around? Why is he killing these specific families? All with, like, girls and everything. All with, like, picture-perfect images and everything as far as, like, the family picture. It is, is it intentional that he only kills families with small daughters? That's what I was saying. Ha, ha, ha. I'm asking these questions. You're gonna have to answer them. I, it's not gonna be the other way around, bucko. I'm already asking these. I have theories of my own, but welcome any questions you all may have after reading this. Email me. <laughs> what? That is amazing. And I might just include your questions, theories, and Potential tips on the next update. Guys! Oh, man. I would love... Uh, I would love to see all the questions that other people are coming up with. Because, obviously, people are cracking these codes better than I am. People are saying, you know, oh, yeah, uh, this code is lyrics to a song. These gibberish codes, you can solve them. Uh, the numbers correlate to the alphabet. So, I'm gonna let you guys send in these questions. Special thanks to Jackson Smith from Oysterville for sending over some CCTV footage of a strange individual that matches the description of the man seen near the Hesse murders back in the 70s. Could Longlegs be back on his old stomping grounds again? Wait. Sending over some CCTV footage? Are we getting that in the new file? Are we getting footage this time of a strange... Wait. Footage. I said that those photos earlier looked like stills from footage. And there is some stuff of satanic cults involved with long legs. I wonder if they're in cahoots with him. Of a strange individual that matches the descriptions of the man. I wonder if we're going to see some stuff on long legs. Alright, got that symbol. The backward C thing. And then this thing looking like some symbol out of like, I don't know, fucking Midsommar. Uh, so we got... X, and then, was it this one, S, M, X, S, M, is that right, X, S, M, what, X, yeah, that's right, that one's not making sense, but hey, this is the code that we have to unlock, so I am going to type in this, X, S, M, uh, what was next? A. That one and then that one. So let's see. R. K. Oh. X's mark. It's going to be X's marks the spot, isn't it? Okay. All right, I'm 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 glad that it's starting to make sense. I'm I, I was like, oh boy, I hope I'm not getting this wrong right off the bat. That one and then that one. So a circle with a dot and the thing that looks like an M, which was an H or an N. Oh wait, no, it wasn't. Oh no, it was it was the other way around. So what becomes before the H? Uh, T. Yep, X marks T H. It's gonna be X marks the spot, I think. Yep. The, E, that is an E. I remember that one. X, so S. Yep, it's spot. P-O-T. <clears throat> yeah, X marks the spot. Or X is marked the spot. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, what are we getting in this one? I'm scared. X is mark the spot. Oh, boy. We got another code. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this one. I'm gonna try my hardest to get this one. So wait, no, nah, save myself some time. I'm gonna go back to the to the thing. Get out of here. Uh, where is it? Shit. Um, here we go. Okay, 
So that one, that one, that one. So that's E. What's the circle with the, oh, that's T. <laughs> and that's H. So the is what we have, T-H-E. That one and then that one. That's S. And the backwards say that's L. T-H-E-S-L. Um, and then the two dots, that's I. And then that looks like a space. So C, that is, that's a, that was up here, right? D, yeah. D, E. Horseshoe thing, was that S? No, it's R. D, E, R. Th thes litter? Thes litter. What? All right, so let's, let, let's try that. Let's see what let's see what that gives us if we type in that. That's the dir. T H E S L I D E R. Oh the slider. If I look up the slider, it's just gonna give me a fucking sandwich. Wait. T Rex! So T Rex is it? What what do they have to do with this movie? I'm realizing that this is this band has always been in the marketing. All right. The slider lyrics. I'm going to crack this one now. I can never understand. <laughs> What's the one that looks the most cryptic? Oh, thank God this is a short song. Whew. Watch now. I'm going to slide. <laughs> Let's try that. What? Wait, did I take it right? Watch now. I'm gonna slide. No? Okay. And when I'm sad. No, it's true. I slide. I slide. And when I'm sad. No. It's like a, was like a ball of love. No. That's how the garden grows. That sounds cryptic enough. That's how the garden grows. Make sure I typed it right. How the garden grows. No, it's not that one. Nailed a nose before. No. I have never, never. Watch it be the whole damn thing. <laughs> Did I hit him this one yet? I can never understand. I could never understand. Which one is it? The cosmic C? A car before it's like a door. A car before it's like a door. Which one is it? Sweep so the wind at all. Wait. Was like a ball of love. Damn. The wind at all. Which one is it? I've done. Have I done that one? I have never, never. No. Uh, all schools are strange. Fuck. And when I'm sad, I slide. Was like a bumblebee. Damn it, long legs. The cosmic sea was like a bumblebee. Fuck you. Slider. <sighs> Which one is it? I don't know if I should type in 
Like how much I should type in? I have never, never kissed. Have I done that one? I have never, never kissed. Hmm. I nope. have always, oh, oh, always, have always, always grown my own before. Guys, which one is it? This isn't even a long one. All schools are strange. And when I'm sad, I slide. Hmm. Was like a ball of love I could never, never see. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. I'm trying everything. Jesus. Okay, so that's that's the uh, the main marketing one that we first saw in the first teaser of the movie. Wait a minute. the numbers that's a and then 14 was a b c d e f g h i j k l m n a n d and was there one that starts with and and when i'm sad i slide and when i'm sad i slide the only ones that start with and are and when i'm sad i slide it's got to be that guys and when, make sure I'm typing this right, because I really think that it could be this. And when I'm sad, I slide. How is it not that? <sighs> Wait. What if this all, re all me is a message? So this one's and from the A and D. And A. And the 12, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And A, L, and all. I'm going to write this one down. And all. <laughs> Is there a, no, there's not. All. Okay. Uh, 120, so that's A, 20. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T. And all at C, uh, 15. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. <clears throat> And all at cosmic C? Is that cosmic? What was 22? Was 22 S? What was 21? And all at cos. So S T. No, so that's a T. Uh, A, B, C, D, E. <clears throat> 18. Let's see if 20 is... Oh wait, was that a U? Wait, I'm I'm fucking lost. Hold on. A B C. God damn it. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T. So twenty is T. Okay, so I got that right. So that one's U. And all <clears throat> at C O U. Alright, so that one's a U. <laughs> My bad. C O U E. B C D E. Okay, and then 18 would be R. 
Keller. Is that even a word? C O U E R? Is that even a word? Okay. It's French. Okie doke. Alright, I'm gonna take it that that is a word. Uh. C O U E R. Right. And all at. Damn it, no! Oh my god. I got the wrong one. I did the wrong one. C O U. I went to the wrong ones. Holy shit. C O U. What's 12? That was an L. And all at C O U L. That is actually right. C O U L. Okay. A B C D. And all at could. See, that doesn't make any sense. All and all at could. All right. Let's just see what it what it makes out. A B C D E F G H I. And all at could and all at could I. So let's see. A, B, C, D, E. Did I already do a 14? No. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. A, B, C, D, E. I never. That's T, U, V. That's never. Never is in the lyrics. 21 was you understand I can never understand 23 was W 9 was I wind wind and all at could, I never understand wind. At all, oh, I have to rearrange them. At all could, I see. <laughs> all right, I see you, I see you. I can never understand the wind at all. I could never understand the wind at all. Yes! Oh, we did it! Okay. Whoa! Oh, we fucking did it. Okay. Okay, so now we're seeing it in color. Ooh. This is gonna be the same one, huh? Wait! Why isn't this the same one? This must relate to this. Needs depend upon these five senses in our everyday affairs and would soon come to grief were we to neglect the reports. Instead, I am trying to acquaint you with the real nature of these five senses, that you may realize what they are not, as well as what they are, and also that you may realize that there is no absurdity in believing that there are more channels of information open to the ego or soul of the person. Uh, than these much used five senses. When you once get a correct scientific conception of the real nature of the five ordinary senses, you will be able to intelligently grasp the nature of the higher physics faculties or the sense. Where is this coming from? Who's writing this? And I can't copy it, <clears throat> so I can search it. Uh... What? What? I might have to go to my other computer. Okay, so I even went to my other computer and I tried doing the download there and it still didn't work for me. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but we're we're just gonna have to skip that one. Okay, fifty three. Form of a. I wonder if I can align these somehow. But I don't even know what page this one is. <laughs> merely a. The eyes merely a camera, the ear merely a form of a cat? Is this right? Does this connect? Many a harmless puss. Yes! Merely a harmless. Or merely a form of a cat, many a harmless puss has been hunted at long, almost to. I wonder if this connects to the other ones. God, that would be so long to read. That would be so much. What are they holding? Oh, there's legs. Maybe he's killing the people that have something to do with their legs, because all them murders look like they have some fucking long legs, dude. Okay. Same one. 52. Yeah, see, it's something with the legs. I've noticed. We're on this one. Secondly, the abjure. They abjure the Catholic faith. Withdraw from the obedience to God. Renounce Christ and the protection of the most blessed, blessed Virgin Mary and all the sacraments of the church. Thirdly, they cast away the crown or rosary of the most blessed virgin. Laying their fingers on some very black box. Okay, but. Gotta exit out of these. Uh, all right. All right. Was I on this one? Yeah. Ninthly, they request the devil to strike them out of the book of Christ. Promise the devil. They promise the devil sacrifices and offerings at stated times. Once a fortnight, or at least each month, the murder of some child, or an homicidal act of sorcery. Okay. So, Long Legs is doing this in a way to kind of like give an offering to Satan. Okay. Okay. More of that photo. God, this is so fucking eerie. What's that? These all say 15-6 as well. Okay. Okay, you already saw that one. You know, I kind of want to look up the other one because it seems like there's like, it's like, uh, steps. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Yes. Wait. No. It's the one before that. Secondly, fourthly, ninthly. So we don't have like fifthly or eighthly or anything like that. I'm gonna keep these open because I wanna see if uh, we'll get all the steps. Okay, was I on this one? Okay, these are repeats. Okay, why does it keep showing this? Why does it keep showing this? Are these Exactly the same? Yeah, they look like it. What's up? Getting a lot of repeats. Okay. That's new. That's long legs. That's long. I just felt a fucking chill down my back, dude. <laughs> That's long legs. This is the surveillance footage that they were talking about. Okay, what's up with this? What is that? Why is that there? 
And why is it still wet? Why hasn't it dried? I don't know. These all look the same. And those are all the same. Boom, 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 boom. I'll keep that one open. Okay, those are just different angles. I was gonna say, are these like two different murders, but they are designed the same? What is under there, guys? What is all this? Like, and then there was like feet going up too. What is that? Okay. What's up with this? Okay. The shotgun, all right. The bullets. Is that a severed fucking hand? I cannot tell. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Excuse me, I'm getting tired. Okay, so... <laughs> we don't have... Any... Anything to go off from here. As far as these two. Thirdly, they cast the crown. Fourthly... So we're missing five, six, seven, and eight. So we're missing like two more pages. I wonder if we'll get those eventually. Maybe I'll save these here. And then like for the next update, I'll be able to like read them all out. <laughs> I really want to see what the questions are going to be if anyone responds to that email. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so what I'm curious of is like, it just says tune back in Monday, July 8th, but it doesn't really have too much of a cliffhanger other than like, uh, let me know what you guys think. So I'm curious what they have planned for that. I wonder if they're going to release more stuff, more stuff about killings, because again, that we're now in the 90s where the movie takes place. So it seems like this... What's next after this is the movie itself. So I will see, obviously, what comes July 8th. But yeah, um, definitely uh, someone in the comments, let me know how to decipher this stuff because I really want to be able to read that. But yes, guys, uh, that is going to do it for this Long Legs uh, website update. <laughs> this I'm really excited to see. I want to see all the steps. Because this definitely relates to the murders and like what the whole kind of plan is, why they're doing it, it seems. But yes, guys, uh, thank you guys as always for watching. Really looking forward to the next update. I don't know what we're going to get, but if I had to guess, that will probably be the last one. Because four days after that, the movie comes out. And we're now, again, into the 90s. So, yeah, I'm really curious what they have for the next one. Uh, depending on how scarce and minimal the next one is, I'll probably in that episode go back to all the different ones and just like all the different files and just look through them. Maybe do a separate episode just going back to all the files, knowing that, with the knowledge I have now about the numbers correlating to the alphabet, reading all of them out, maybe collecting all the notes and seeing if they align at all. There's potential for a lot. But uh, yeah, very excited to get into the next update, guys. Thank you guys as always for watching, and I will see you very soon. Take care.